Andreas, and our project is called uh, the Musical Chair. And the Musical Chair is a chair that you can jam out. What, uh, what creatively inspired you to make the Musical Chair? Well, uh, I think uh, a chair has a lot of different uh, degrees of freedom. You can make a, little, a lot of different motions when you're in a chair. You can swivel, you can you know, move up and down with the armrests. Um, I just think it's a really good kind of a interface for, you know, uh, making physical uh, interactions which kind of map to musical sounds. And we spend so much of our lives in chairs. That's true. So, so we might as well bring more fun into the act of sitting on a chair. Awesome. Well, tell us about the technology that you used for your chair. Alright, so, um, let's see. Where to start? <laughs> Most of the electronics are in these uh, sleeves here on the uh, armrests. Um, there are a couple sensors in each sleeve. You can see the, this sensor is coming out right here. It's a 9 degrees of freedom sensor, which uh, we're using it for... Uh, um, it's, this motion? Yeah, for swivel motion and for up and down armrest motion. So yeah. it's, uh, it measures the direction of the uh, highest magnetic fields, which is, uh, gives us kind of a, a swivel mm -hmm. sensory um, direction and also gives us the the kind of the, the gravity component of the armrest, so it gives us the ability to determine, you know, how um, high up or low the armrest is. And we have this yeah. uh, slider pot, and here we have a pressure sensitive uh, FSR. And on the underside of these, we've got buttons. Just your regular old buttons. We have buttons for, uh, yeah, they make. Each uh, armrest has a different voice, so the combinations of buttons on each armrest produce a different note. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I guess we can turn around to the back of the chair. This is the Arduino that uh, takes in all the sensory information and then it sends it wirelessly using this uh, NRF uh, 24L01 um, device here, and it uh, communicates directly with another Arduino, which is actually on the, uh, connected to the computer. And so it uh, communicates wirelessly with the computer. And here's our power supply. Yes, power supply is a, uh, actually a cell phone charger. Yeah. And all these, uh, oops, all these devices are detachable. This part, um, it's like Velcro, you can detach it here. These sleeves you can also detach. Yeah, a lot of Velcro. Yeah. So the sound design, I used Max and I wanted to kind of make sounds that weren't just I mean, Max obviously has a lot of objects and presets for building sounds, but I wanted to like make something that's really my own and make it from scratch. So I made some, I had some ideas about doing different kinds of additive synthesis and um, FM synthesis, and I kind of threw together a bunch of stuff. I think the most unique part is I have an additive synthesis component where Normally in additive synthesis you take each, like the fundamental frequency and multiply it by integers um, for, I don't know, however many you want. And so I have that as the basic model, but then um, when you press the FSR, it in basically takes each of those integers to the power of one, of a little, some, a number a little bit over one, so it kind of stretches out the uh, spectrum. And it creates an interesting sound effect. Yeah, and then it, it does a lot of feed, like feeds that through uh, FM synthesis, and the various effects um, basically control various aspects of the FM synthesis. And this one is a low pass filter, and the buttons control the two voices, which are just it just controls the bass frequency that we use. Cool. Well, do you want to give us a demo? Sure. Who's going to play the chair? I'll uh, start playing. All right. So first, we'll just show some basic, uh, basic notes. <laughs> so each, uh, as you can see, I'm pressing down uh, buttons from uh, one armrest at a time, and each one is a distinct voice. And then you can play harmony by pressing buttons from uh, both at the same time. Uh, 
And then uh, while you're playing a note, you can uh, do certain things like uh, move the slider pot, and this is like a low pass filter. Another thing you can do is uh, you can lift the armrest while you're playing a note. Effect, but it's also kind of a low pass filter. In a sense, yeah. In a, yeah. And uh, I think the most striking effect is uh, while we're playing a note, there's a, a, a pressure sensor under this kind of skull uh, decal here. Some pretty funky sounds. And also, uh, when you swivel around in the chair, uh, it pans between different speakers. So...